Today, we're going to give the Varroamites a bath. So what we're actually doing is a test to see how many mites are on our bees. If there's too many mites, you have to treat. Otherwise, they will weaken the bees and the colony might not survive the winter. For the test, we roll them in icing sugar. I have to shake it out. Yeah, and I already see a mite. Yeah, that's a Varroa mite. With a bit of water, we can make them all visible. Two Varroa mites on a boating trip. And I see a third one. I think that's one. That is definitely one. It was long believed that the Varroa mites feed on the blood or the hemolymph of the bee, kind of like a tick. However, meanwhile, people figured out that they actually suck on the fat body of the bee, which is actually the liver, the kidney and the energy stores of the bee, crucial to get through the winter. So you have three mites, and if you want to add for some inaccuracy compared to alcohol tests, I read you should maybe add 25%, but that's still like four mites maybe, not even. Hanging in there. The consequence of this test result is that we're going to need to treat the bees, coming up in the next episode. Put them back in the hive. Yeah, these bees are getting cleaned. Some are already flying. You see, they're pretty lively. I mean, look at that one. She's already fanning. Also a few over there. The bees are having a party. We have some syrup and we have pollen patties and some smoke. 